All right, so it's been about a week since I've picked up the, this project here of getting these gates on. And getting the latch on for this guy over here. Um, I got our welder back. Super big thanks to TNA Rebuilders out of Albuquerque. Uh, he was awesome in uh, getting right on this <clears throat> and getting it fixed. It was this on off switch that was causing all the problems. So he went through it and made sure it was, everything was good to go. So super thanks. If you need his contact info, drop me a comment, shoot me an email, and uh, I'll get you his contact info over there. All right, so if I remember right, we were at the point of needing to get this leveled out and tack it on and then uh, we would be ready for a latch and a latch then the gate project would be done we do owe a little bit of piping right here um, and then that will take care of this project so let me get this gate leveled up and uh, we'll get this uh, welder fired up and we'll glue this thing on. All right, so we got our gate welded and it closes, which is always a nice thing. I got it a little high. I'm gonna bend that down just a little bit. There we go. And it closes this way. Hold back. Beautiful. And it stays put. That's even great too. Okay, so the next thing we got to do is go build two latches so we can close these gates. So we got to get a measurement and then uh, we can do it. So. This guy, we put a latch in here. He needs to be right about, oh, nine inches, 10 inches, somewhere in there. So maybe about 10 inches. And then this one. Thanks. This one needs to be, oh, this is going to be a bigger one. He needs to be, well, I guess I can make him 10 inches too, just move him up a little bit. So two 10-inch latches, that'll make it easy. Let's see where he's going to close. That'll be just right. All right, let's go make these latches. All right, so we've got our latch made. What I'm thinking is something about here. And the thought is, is that the receiver end will tuck behind the guardrail here. So really what I need to do is just get a general alignment here, which I'll use the rebar for. We'll kind of tack it in place and then we'll do the final fit. There's something about like that, I think. this sucker in. Thank you. 
Okay. this one down. All right, well, we got the latch in. We got our belts and suspenders in. Let's give it a test drive. Got our brace in over here. So now, cattle come down the alley. Boom, they can go in there. Or if cattle are coming down the alley from here and we want them in this pin, this gate folds all the way back. We got our latch here. Ouch, it's so hot. So now cattle can come in. Boop, boop. Or cattle can come out. Er, er. Um, so that's cool. I also can close this gate. This is one cool thing about having these longer alleys. Um, also, before I close it all the way, if cattle are coming in this way, so now the gate closes here, like that. And now this gate closes here. And we got our belts and suspenders there. Um, but what I was saying is now we can use this gate as a sorter both ways. So I could sort into this pen. I could sort into this pen. Uh, it's really, really, really nice. And if we ever needed to, for whatever reason, I could fold this gate all the way back if we needed to. Um, I don't know why we would. Um, but the other thing is, is we can create the alleyway between the, right there, and now we can create an alleyway between the scales and here, which is really no, ouch, no different than what we were doing before, but what we didn't have the ability to do was to create an alleyway between these two pens. So now we can close these guys up. Oh, about like so, something like this. And we can run them. Um, we could run them off the scales in the trucks, boom, into there. That is a super awesome feature that we did not have. And it's something I've wanted to do um, because it would be awesome to be able to just dump them into the, the scales right away. Or we could manipulate those gates over there, put them into Sean's pen over here, and then run them in. So, being able to do this, really cool. That's going to be it for this video. Appreciate you all watching. We'll catch you next time, and uh, we'll see ya.